What's up you guys, Kayleen here, and welcome back to Kayleen's Corner. Um, I have not said that in a while, um, <laughs> and I'm sure you're seeing I'm obviously not in the same place. Um, I'm in the house that Hunter and I moved into when we got married, um, and I have my two sweet babies sleeping together. That's Luna. And then next to her is our little kitten, Henry. And so I just wanted to make a video today because recently I experienced something um, rather difficult. Um, and it is something that I want to remember because I want to remember how God brought Hunter and I through this um, and out to the other side. Uh, because this is something I never thought I would experience, um, but here we are. And so I wanted to share my experience and kind of create um, a space where other people who have experienced something similar um, can share what they've gone through. So, um, basically this all began in June. Um, it's currently July of 2022, and last month, um, on June 16th, it was my 22nd birthday, um, and that morning, I woke up and I took my fourth positive pregnancy test. Hunter and I were not trying for a baby, this was um, a complete surprise, <laughs> um, but still very exciting because I have wanted a baby for a really long time and have just been praying a lot about um, when the right time for that is. That morning for my birthday we went to breakfast with a bunch of our friends and I didn't say anything um, just in case because I didn't want to say anything too early um, but then the next day Hunter and I could not hold our tongues anymore um, so we have a married couple that we're really close with and so Hunter works with the husband and um, so the next day they went to work together and then I met with the wife and we went to a coffee shop and basically I just told her that I was pregnant and I was really excited and she was also really excited um, and she was actually so excited that um, she asked if she could take me to Once Upon a Child and buy me baby clothes. So we did that, um, and it was really fun and really cute. Um, and, uh, yeah, she was just really excited for us. And, um, then later that day, I went home and was just waiting for Hunter to get off work. And, uh, I went to the bathroom and I started bleeding a lot. Um, it was a lot more than a period and it was very painful. And um, I called my mom because she knew I had been like sending her pictures of the tests because the, the second line was like kind of faint and she was, so she was in the know from the beginning, but I called her and I told her what was going on and she told me that it was probably an early miscarriage and um, kind of told me that it's really common um, and tried to calm me down a little bit because basically my worst nightmare was coming true. <laughs> um, and then I called Hunter and I asked if he had already told um, his friend and he said yeah I actually just finished telling him and I said well pause um, because I just started bleeding a lot and so I had already scheduled an appointment to get a blood test done with my doctor so I went ahead and kept the appointment so that I could meet with her about what was going on regardless of the outcome and um, they tested my blood and my urine and both came back negative. And she told me that I was only about four weeks along 
which like I was barely pregnant but still this was just like a new type of grief that I had never experienced before and it was very very difficult um, I felt like I was almost teased with a pregnancy um, I was really angry um, with God and of course all the thoughts that I was having those were not from God um, but I was just like questioning him a lot like why would he take away my baby and that was a really hard place to be and it took a lot of praying and I told my therapist all about it and kind of talked through it I talked with a lot of my friends about it um, and I am now at a point where I feel so much more peace about the whole situation. Um, I really feel like God saw something that we couldn't see with that baby. Um, and ultimately it was not the right time and it was not gonna be the best situation for us or for the baby. And I have made my peace with that and I firmly believe, after praying for months about this, I firmly believe that my calling in life is to be a mother. And that's also what made this so difficult, but it also really helped me through this because I know that when the time is right, God is going to bless us with a baby and I I don't believe that he was trying to like hurt me or anything like that by taking that baby to heaven um, I know that I'm meant to be a mother and that when the time is right Hunter and I will have a baby and I will get to raise it to be a little Christian and <laughs> that's really exciting. I know that I wasn't very far along and that other people have had this experience but further along and you know have had much worse and more difficult experiences but this was just so new to me and something that I never expected to experience and I think that it's valid for me to be sad that I didn't get to keep that baby but I think that it's also important to recognize that God doesn't just take away babies for fun <laughs> like he obviously can see things that we can't and I think that was the case with this baby and I honestly think that Hunter and I grew a lot from this experience and I feel like my faith right now is stronger than ever and I am able to recognize that that miscarriage was essential to Hunter and I's lives and to our ever-growing faith in the Lord. Um, it had to happen and I'm thankful to have this experience because now it's a part of our story and I feel like I can better sympathize and understand um, when other women go through this um, because it's just, it is devastating. And so, um, yeah, I just wanted to share that story 
and how God brought Hunter and I out of that. And I 100% believe that I will see my baby again one day in heaven. And that has given me a lot of peace. And um, yeah, I just wanted to share my story. Um, and if anyone else has experienced something similar, I encourage you to um, tell your story as well. Um, because these things happen a lot and I think it's important to lean on each other and support each other through difficult times like this. And I am so, so thankful for my friends who have been there for me through this experience and have given me scripture and have prayed for us. I am just so, so grateful for everything that y'all have done for us. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to update everyone. So yeah, I hope that this, um, this video was encouraging, um, and mm, thank you. <laughs> um, I hope that you got something out of it. And yeah, hopefully I will, uh, make some more videos <laughs> updating you on my life a little bit more. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're all well, and I will see you whenever. Bye!